Skygivers! In this video we go through all you need to know about Sky Children of Light before you take your first step into this awe-inspiring world. Five points in five minutes. Pay attention, and don't blink. Number one, the setting. Sky is a multiplayer online role-playing open-world social adventure game set in a kingdom amongst the clouds whose stars have fallen out of their constellations. You awake as a child of light to help restore the fallen light back to the constellations. Number two, gameplay. Sky's developers mentioned that they wanted to make the game accessible to all ages. This means simple controls and interfaces for all gamers to enjoy. There are two ways to navigate through the world, walking slash running and flying. Walking slash running is a simple matter of pushing your movement control in the desired direction. One of this game's main attractions is how smooth and liberating the flying experience is. Hold the jump button to boost upwards, and while you're in the air, you can engage in glide mode, where your character can perform quick dives and cover long distances, or hover mode, where your character can hover in midair, allowing for better control over where your character lands. With these controls, you travel through different areas of the game, lighting candles and burning blue plants to collect the light that is left behind. Light is one of the two currencies in the game. Collecting light will fill up your candle meter, and when the meter fills completely, you can get a candle, which is used to buy cosmetics. Another item you can collect throughout the world is winged light. This glowing little fella, which when enough of them are collected, will give you additional flight power, allowing you to fly for longer periods of time without needing to find a source to recharge. Number 3. Progression So now that you know what the game is about, and what its controls and basic elements are, what do you do? Well, thankfully, for all of you lazy gamers out there, you have more or less linear progression waiting for you. Look, they're even lined up for you in your home space. Each realm is based on a particular human emotion, and they represent particular phases in life. See how many you can identify. As you make your travels through the realms, you relive spirit memories and unlock nodes in the realm's constellations. Relieving the spirit grants you access to their lore and cosmetics, which are bought with candles and hearts. We covered the first of the two currencies earlier. Hearts are the second currency, and you can only get them in two ways exchanging candles for hearts in certain spirit trees, and from friends, being gifted one at a price of three candles paid by the gifter, or via free daily heart fragment sent by friends. Hey, another reason to get out there and meet some new friends. If you're a 100%er with time on your hands, here's your game plan. Go through all of the realms, complete the story, relive all of the story spirits, buy out all the items, thus completing story constellations. Ta-da! Another one double zeros under your belt. Another aspect of the game is friends. What's a social adventure game without friends? Friends are made by spinning a candle, saving another player in your friend constellation. In Sky, usernames do not exist. Instead, nicknames are given to each other by the other party. Chat is also locked, displayed as dots until the chat function in the friendship tree is unlocked. In addition to this, there are tons of interesting friend features to discover in there as well. Halt! Question time! What do you get when you add multiplayer online plus role-playing game plus 2021? That's right! Seasonal content! Also in-app purchases. This brings us to number four. Seasons. Sky doesn't stop here. It's a multiplayer online RPG after all. Seasonal content comes from the adventure seasons, which usually last around one to two months. And accompanying each other are four to six seasonal spirits. They are similar to the story, but they are exclusive to the season period. And yes, you guessed it, the cosmetics in these seasonal spirits are also exclusive to the season. That's why every new season is a hyped event. A whole bunch of exclusive new exciting items and outfits to adorn your Sky Kid with. Sheesh! Buying the Adventure Pass for that season grants you an additional line of items per spirit. Which means two times the total number of items you will be getting. And we're at number five. Traveling Spirits. When a season concludes, the items in the season will no longer be accessible, and only their emote expressions will be available for players to obtain. But fret not! If you're a cosmetics lover and collector, there's still a chance for you to get them. Every few weeks, a random seasonal spirit will return home as a traveling spirit, and their items will be briefly obtainable for an increased amount of candles and or hearts. In addition to items, winged buff, one per spirit, are also available for purchase further adding on to your wing count and flight potential. There is a large and ever-growing library of seasonal spirits to be randomly selected from, so watch out for the announcement that comes a day before the spirit's appearance in the sky's social media to see if you want to save for them or not. And that concludes all you need to know to get started in Sky Children of the Light. Here's a cute flower for you for watching till the end. Click the subscribe button and get notified about our next video. 
which will be coming out very soon. Bye!